This is the real Tom Rose, and we're going to solve a perimeter problem. And perimeter is the distance on the outside of a shape. So the perimeter of this trapezoid will be the sum of this side, the top side, the right side, and the bottom. All four of those sides, the length when summed, will give us the perimeter. Now, one of the things that it's helpful to do uh, when dealing with geometric shapes on the SAT is add in lines which don't already exist, which help you deal with the shape. So in this particular shape, there's only one side we don't know the value of, it's the bottom. But it's hard to figure that out without adding the following line in. I'm gonna drop a line straight down from the upper left hand corner. I'm gonna do that perpendicular to the base. And I did that very carefully so that the shape on the right would become a rectangle. And if it's a rectangle, then we know that the bottom will have a length of 10 and we know the side will have a length of four because rectangles have the same top and bottom and the same left and right side. Now we're pretty close. We're pretty much just missing the little bottom leg on this triangle. Now we know this is a right triangle because we've already mapped out that 90 degrees there. And we know two of the sides. Now anytime you know two of the sides of a right triangle, you can always calculate the third using the Pythagorean theorem. Right, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the longest side. So let's call this side that we don't know x. Actually, I'm gonna call that a to keep our formula the same. So a squared plus b in this case is four squared and c is five squared. We can calculate the value for a. a squared is 25 minus 16, which equals nine. So a is equal to plus or minus three. And since we know we're dealing with a physical quantity, we're gonna go with the positive value. So a is equal to three. And now we can solve the perimeter of our trapezoid. Before I add that up, I wanna make a quick note here on the side about something called Pythagorean triples. So this triangle is the most common right triangle you'll ever find on the SAT. It's called a three, four, five triangle. And when you're dealing with a right triangle with a hypotenuse of five, the two shorter sides, sorry, if you have a right triangle and you have two of the sides and two of them are in this list, the third one will also be in that list. The long one has to be the five, obviously. So we know we have a four and a five, so we know the other side is that three. There are other sets of Pythagorean triples that people have memorized. Um, it's up to you which one you want to memorize. I would recommend that you keep track of the following list. 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, and then multiples of 3, 4, 5. So 6, 8, 10, and 30, 40, 50. These are the ones that I keep in my head. Pythagorean triples. Now, let's go ahead and add up the perimeter for our trapezoid. Five, 10, four, 10, three. So five plus four plus three is 12, plus 20 is 32, which is answer choice E.